In this video, I will be showing you the Pico cast on. The Pico cast on is a cast on that creates little bumps or picots along the cast on edge. It is stretchy and very decorative. Uh, you can change the size of the picots to make them longer. Uh, if you do them, you can do them really long and, and have them be a fringe. And you can change the spacing of the picots to have them closer together or farther apart. And the bind off, as you can see, the bind off um, almost exactly mat matches the cast on. So you can make um, a cast on edge and the bind off edge match each other. But I'll be showing you the cast on in this video and I will have another ca uh, video for the bind off. To begin, so it is a left to right cast on. You place a slip knot on your left needle and you don't need a long tail for this. And you can use any left to right cast on. Usually uh, a knitted or a cable cast on method is used for this, but I have seen an E cast on used for this. I don't like the E cast on. It's uh, a bit more sloppy, so I prefer to use a knitted or a cable cast on. I'll use a knitted in this video, uh, but it would be the same method uh, with a cast on, a cable cast on as well. So uh, you can alter the spacing so um, and the size of the picots. So for the cast on, the you will first cast on using a knitted cast on a certain number of stitches. Uh, for this, I will do, um, let's do six. So my slip knot counted as one. And then I will bind off four, say. Um, so I cast it on six. Now to bind off, you knit one, you knit the second, and you bind off one, knit another, that's binding off two, knit another, binding off three, knit another, binding off four. Oops. And then you slip the stitch on the right hand needle back to the left hand needle. Now I have a four stitch pico with two stitches on the needle. So casting on six and binding off four made a, so the bind off number is the size of your pico, so that's four, and the difference between the two will be your cast on multiple. Um, of two, so I've now cast it on two stitches. So now I repeat, cast on six and bind off four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then knit one, knit two, bind off one, two, three, four. Slip this stitch purlwise back, and I now have four stitches. So I have cast it on two and then two, and I have two picots. So if I wanted the spacing wider, I would cast on more stitches and still bind off the four. So if I had cast it on um, 10 stitches and bound off four, 
that would leave me six stitches um, so they would be widely very widely spaced so for example this this swatch I think I cast it on six and bound off two so there are four stitches the pico ends up uh, so here's the cast on edge the pico ends up sitting above one column and then there are one, two, three, and then four. So that would be how you would vary the spacing. And it's always a good idea to swatch to see what you like, uh, what you prefer. These are these are spaced two stitches apart. These are spaced three or four stitches apart. Um, and so, because this this configuration is an even number, if you needed an odd number, you could simply cast on one more stitch, knit with the knitted cast on and now I have an odd number of stitches. And that would actually balance the placement of these because when you cast on, you end up with your extra stitches sitting on the left and no extra stitches sitting on the right so the picots kind of butt up against the edge but have a little bit of a, of a spacing at the beginning. So if you want them more centered, you would cast on some extra stitches at the end to kind of balance them along the edge. So that is the Pico cast on. Thanks for watching.